guys, this flight looking like a good day to launch. When we step into this room, we strive for perfection because spaceflight tolerates nothing less. Every time you walk through this door, whether it's practice or whether you're flying, it's real. This is mission control. We came in here today as a team. We're gonna operate here as a team and we're gonna leave here as a team. So whatever happens in here, it happens based on what we did as a team. At Sierra Space, the countdown clock has already started. Every day, preparing for the actual moment, go for launch. This is something that has inspired humans for generations. The stakes are high. You know, we're no longer just a design on paper, right? We're a real vehicle. We're a real team that can execute. This is our time to shine. This is our time to show everyone that Dream Chaser is what's next. We have good mode change to terminal count. Copy, terminal count. Okay, all controllers. I'm gonna come around for go, no go for launch. EPS. Go. You're not gonna have a straightforward path. We don't know what obstacles are gonna come for us. We're trying for something very ambitious, and we have to be tenacious. Equus. Equus is go. Prop. Prop is go. This has been decades in the making. Thousands of hours and people have dedicated Back. their lives to Back working go. on this program. Everything Argo. will flow go, through fight. here. Fido. Fido, go. We are in this mission control room, running through sims, practicing operations day in and day out because we have that last leg of the race. And it's such an incredible responsibility. I feel really honored to be a part of that team. Avionics, go. Inco. Inco is go. Now that we're right on the cusp of this flight, it's exciting. GC. Go. FAO. Go. We have put years and go. years of work into this. On the day we launch, it's going to feel like it's all been worth it. Mission manager flight. Go flight. All roads lead through this first mission. Dream chasers, go for launch. The launch is going to be amazing, but for us, that's when we've just started the mission. In this room, we are actually flying the spacecraft. There's a whole team of individuals that will be sending commands up, checking on all of the telemetry and making sure everything's perfect. The team prepares and simulates every potential scenario in space, meticulously training for the first NASA mission to resupply the International Space Station. Tenacity means focusing on the team. They come up with ingenious ways to get into space. Most of the day, I actually get to spend figuring out how to break a system, and they get to tell me how they can still make it work, even when I throw all kinds of crazy scenarios at them. That's where I know that when we fly, we're going to be fully successful. The number one motto is sim like you fly. So when we come into this room and we do a simulation, it is as real as it gets. Flight mech, wing deploy in progress. Copy. Today we are simulating our wing deployment that happens right after we separate from the launch vehicle in space. So we will actually be launched in a stowed configuration. So our wings will actually be stowed like this. And then we have a series of mechanisms that will deploy upon command. So we are commanding from here. We will deploy the wings and then lock them into place. Wing deploy is complete. Copy wings deployed. There will be someone sitting next door, and that's going to be the sim instructor. So their whole job is to make sure that you are trained and you're ready for the unexpected. Like, what if this breaks? And then that breaks. What if you lose communication? And so when it comes to flight day, that it's just a walk in the park. OK, copy. Go for final approach. Fido flight. Wait, Fido. You are go to take us inside 30 meters. Copy. Avionics Fido. Go ahead, Fido. Today, we're simulating the portion of the mission we refer to as rendezvous and proximity operations. And it's all about bringing two spacecraft safely together in orbit. This is the final moment of our launch to capture mission sequence. Dream Chaser is going to be launched into an orbit behind ISS. Since we're lower than ISS, we're going to be going a little bit faster. Eventually, we'll get to a last burn to put us on a similar orbit with ISS and then we'll come up directly below ISS. We'll be in kind of a straight line, the Earth, Dream Chaser, and ISS. And then we'll ascend up this line. We call it the R-bar, so it's the radius vector from the ISS to the Earth. Everyone in the Mission Control Center is biting their nails, waiting for this final moment. We will start to crawl up that R-bar very slowly, stopping at a few hold points along the way. Once NASA gives us the final go, we'll get really close to ISS and we'll just 
turn off all of our thrusters, and then NASA will grab us with the arm and attach us to the ISS. The ISS crew has just minutes to reach out and grapple us with the robotic arm. Then we are maneuvered up to the station, and all of this happens at 17 and a half thousand miles an hour. Tenacity means practicing over and over and over again, and then resetting the clock and doing it all over again. Let's go again. I'm confident that we have the right people at the right time doing the right things, that this mission is going to be a success. We've got an incredible team of engineers, manufacturing team who have built the spacecraft, designed the spacecraft, and now it's time to hand it over to the operators. Ready for the new day. I am so thrilled to be a part of this first Dream Chaser mission. It's monumental for the country. To be in this room in that moment on launch day will be the culmination of all my dreams. Walking into this room on launch day is going to be a new chapter in human spaceflight. Dream Chaser represents the hard work and the dreams of hundreds and hundreds of people. All of those people going for something, going for something hard. Go, 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 go. go. Dream Chaser is go for launch. From chasing that dream to realizing that dream, it's going to be a roller coaster of emotion. When that vehicle lands safely on that runway, the first thing I'm going to do is call my dad <laughs> and tell him that I did it. I'm part of the future. Five. I chased my dreams, and now I'm living my dreams. Four. Let's freaking go. Three, two, one. Go Vulcan. Go Centaur. Go Dream Chaser. <laughs>